I think we're on. Hello. You know how heavy she is. Hello. She's got to go down. Well, that's before she's had her Easter eggs. Oh. Today is Good Friday. The day that the. Oh no, I'm not allowed to say that. Oh no! You're not supposed to have beaten of a corned beef for breakfast. Yeah, but this will go out in three weeks' time. Oh, so that's they, okay. Yeah, they won't know. Yeah. I'm not vegan. We'd, so. we'd just like to thank Boating David. I'm sure most of you will be familiar with Boating David. He's very big on Twitter and Instagram. And he moors behind us. So, put it in context. Just there is the lock that we came through. 100 yards the other side is our mooring. I said to David, we needed to get some diesel from the marina. So I said, come on board and I'll pursue the lock. But 50 yards the other side is a bridge, isn't there? Yeah, with two boats that were together, weren't they? Well, I backed out of our mooring and we couldn't see through the bridge. And, and then Tom just said... Just as we were ready to, to come out, I um, saw the start of a boat. They could have let us pass if they were kind. Yeah, but an ABC hire boat came through, didn't immediately us, followed by another ABC hire boat. They, they were together, but they didn't tell us. And well, I'll put a picture up. Are you going to put that picture up? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hang on, it it's makes off. us look stupid, but actually, it's, we've it's, been stationary um, there for a while. That boat came this way. Well, at <laughs> one point, both. See, it didn't help that there was a boat more near the lock landing pointing the yeah, opposite way. Yeah, but we nearly bought years ago. Yeah. Well, we had to be it was hard. Pointing the other way. So there, there, were, there, were, there, were, there were about eight boats at one point queuing for the lock with this boat in the middle. And the. The, the diesel pump was immediately opposite the lot landing. So we tried to indicate to these ABC high boats that we weren't trying to leapfrog them to get to no, the lot. I, I told them, I actually spoke to, to that guy that just went mm, like that. I don't know what, so what that means. I don't speak to When you look at the accompanying picture, the, the ABC high boat had been parallel to the towpath and for some reason ended up at the it, angle it that came it out. did. Yeah, but it makes it look like we've come to them, but we were actually stationary there for a little while, try, trying to figure out what the bloody hell they were doing. Well, we were in motion. It's, it's a still photo, you're not in camera. I was looking at the cyclist. I know you were. And anyway, <laughs> the ABC high boat comes out at an angle of 45 degrees and closes off our routes to the fuel pump. At which point I said to David, I'm getting off. You take control. So it was all good fun. And then we only came from that lock. Yeah, just to we, we'd, had it, we'd had enough. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours to do one half a mile on one lock. But anyway, that's. Uh, Thank you, David. Cyclists don't. We say a lot to everyone, they never say a lot back. We're only having a short cruise today. But we've got Barbridge Junction and it's Good Friday, so wish us luck. Well, so far so good, we've passed a couple of boats. But we're bridge number three. Just in front. Are you feeling sweetheart? I, I am. I'm just talking nonsense. I'm um, just playing with that cat. Yeah. That cat that annoys me. Tom's doing repairs. Well, I won't call it repairs. So we, we could we could lose a door in a minute. Hey, I'm a qualified engineer, allegedly. I've got a not very qualified MVQ. Yeah. Have you got them glasses that can see round bends again? Yep. Yeah, okay. Let's try the printer button. Oh, it's not working. Oh, how oh, wonderful. I'll go and have, have a twin. Yeah. Uh, We've got a loose connection on the printer. You know, it new. new I'll need it wheel. before we get to the junction. Yeah, yeah no, I'm. Are we on? Yeah. I've got a confession to make. What? You know when I said I, I pressed the printer button? Did you press the bilge pump? I pressed the bilge pump. 
That's why the printer wasn't working. Oh, it's working now. Try it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... I didn't really... Oh, I just pressed the connections together anyway. It, I blame coming off my medication. But that's another story, folks. Not for today. Yeah, that was a bit unpleasant. We had three boats pass us. But they pushed us, they lifted us onto the shelf. So I struggled to get back into the middle of the canal. But we're there. It's very tight down here. <laughs> yeah? I wouldn't like to leave a fiberglass boat there. We got six inches away with that big pup 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 boat. Anyway, we're just approaching the, the junction at Bar Bridge and I'm not going to worry about it because uh, that, that, that's, that's just the normal me now these days. So perhaps if I get all wound up and I'll balance out my tremor. But Tom's on lookout. At the end of the day, we either get through it or we crash. Okay. Yeah? What? In the, oh, get in the middle. Oh, okay. Oh, I've drifted. I better concentrate. Right. I've blasted my own my printer quite a few times. Let's give it one more go. Right, that's my last time. God for that. appear to have made it. Oh, bloody hell. There was a boat coming. I better switch off. Pardon me. That's not going on. No. Right, so I just said that I'm not like that religious or anything. I was dragged to, to church every Sunday when I was a kid. However, right, I said that there was a church service on TV today. What? What's up? I think I'm paying attention. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm going to... I'm going to watch it. <laughs> What's yeah. wrong with that? What's wrong with saying that? It's, it's got nothing to do with Easter eggs or the bunny. It's got everything to do with Easter eggs and you you haven't bought one. It's got a Mars bar. Melt it and make an egg. Anyway, no one buys Easter eggs yet. You buy them on Tuesday when they're on offer. I thought you bought them in November when they went, first went on sale. I remember, I can't remember if it was a Sunday, the Monday or where. I went in a Tesco Express to get fuel years ago and they were selling Easter eggs that they sold the day before for like two or three quid for 50p. But that's and you were still probably only getting 20 pence worth no, of chocolate. No, 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 no. I've got to tell the story. So years and years oh, ago, wake me up when he's gone. Years and years ago, I bought 
I will still buy an Easter egg for everyone, don't ask me why. But I bought my nephews, my niece, my Did you buy me family, one? yes. Right, so I bought loads of eggs, gave him one. Oh, I said, remember this story. I said, you'll get another one on, on Easter Sunday. They were in the house. I think you told me to look after them. And no, I, I did it. I didn't. I, 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 I hid, what I hid you... them in, in, in one of the wardrobes, right? He stole them while I was at work. Well, you can't have hidden them very well. Found I thought about... you said, can you keep an eye no, on these? No, I didn't. Anyway, found out about it. So, on my break, go out, buy a whole new batch. And this time, didn't buy him one, I bought him two. Right, here's your two Easter eggs. That's it. I'm leaving him in the boot of my car because there's no way he'd, he'd go in the boot of my car. He ate half of them. Why did I only eat half of them? Because I caught you. Oh. <laughs> you mean with that big brown <laughs> ring around my mouth? <laughs> anyway, so then the next year I didn't bother with it. So my family have not got Easter eggs or anything. We haven't bought your mother a Christmas present yet. Sorry, Jean. No, we haven't. We blame COVID, everybody Do you know what? else no, does. Another, right, so there was one year, right? Because I, I never had much money and I thought, right, this year I'm going to make Christmas special. So I did one of these things where you... you think I'd be good at the violin no. with this. So, I, 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 so I, I give money per month and, you know, and, and then just before Christmas they give you the gift card. Well, oh. on the day that we were given the gift card, it was announced on TV that the company was maybe going into administration. And we had an August... Yeah, the way we are, but it was, I don't know what it was. But anyway, so we went to Argus and I said, right, I'm just going to literally just buy everything I can. Woo! Right? So I'm, I'm looking through and I'm looking at things for my family. What do we end up, John? A cuddly toy for your niece. Yeah. And a chainsaw. For you. <laughs> and my family still didn't get decent presents because he spent all the money on a chainsaw. We got some strange looks from the checkout. Account. I did. Right. When, when we bought right, a cuddly right, right, toy right. and a chainsaw. And what did you do with the chainsaw, John? When I was wearing gloves? It was, was wearing, an accident. I was I nearly, wearing proper, like... I nearly took his fingers yeah, off. Yeah, I was wearing proper metal Hi, coated doggy. gloves. He lost his balance, turned around dead quick. I blame the as-then-unyet-diagnosed Parkinson's. Yes, I know, but I'd made sure I was two metres away from you, away from the blade, All right? I could have taken your head you off. You fell over and somehow moved two metres towards me and I can't show you the finger because it looked like I'd be doing something rude but it was that long. <laughs> I can't show it. But I've still got the scar, but... Well, it didn't do the blade any good. No, and I, th I thought I'd lost my finger. Do you know, serious no, I didn't actually look at my hand for a good three minutes because I was... No, I didn't either. Because, I ran off. Because there was so much blood, I just assumed I'd lost my finger. Anyway, we need to concentrate because there's a bridge here. It's one, it's one of them new bridges, you know, the and ones... And he never apologised. The ones that they build like a pin, pinball John's machine. Got a thing. I don't know if it's because of autism or, or whatever, but... Oh, he, that's it. Blame my no, disabilities. No, I'm, I'm being honest, right? Don't go anywhere. Right, if he does something by accident and didn't on purpose do it, but there's a problem, he doesn't apologise. So well, when he nearly accident. chopped my finger off, he did apologise because it was an accident, so in that way he doesn't have to apologise. How anyway, does that make anyway, sense? Anyway, I need to concentrate. Oh, I mean, before we go, right here, I once got the dog went past me <laughs> and I got I know what's going. And I got mud in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, John, oh my god, John, 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 please get rid of this mud in my eye. And he went up to me and he just went <laughs> and pulled me in the eye. But not the eye that I'd mud in, the other eye. So I had mud in one eye. <laughs> and I, so I went work the next day and I had one black eye and one like really red eye. And everyone was like, what on earth have you been up to? I look like I've been I out on the grass. I was trying to be helpful. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get the, rid of the mud and you... <laughs> Can I go now? Because that bridge is really here. See you in a bit, folks.
So we did meet a boat. <laughs> I don't know how this happens. If you, you can come back now. We've got a boring straight leg now for a while. There's a car coming. A boat. Oh yeah, but it's dead straight. This is. That, that's my that's my interpretation of dead straight. Yeah, that that. Ugh. Anyway, we're only going down by here towards Bunbury, and we're going to find a nice mooring, and we're going to check. Uh, Tom's gra come out grabbing his testicles. No, I just hit them on a wall. Well, a, a door, wall on a door. How did you find a wall down there? I was just squeezing past, and I. <laughs> I was just explaining to the to, to your mum. Yeah. We're just going down this straight bit, and then we're going to find a mooring. But before we commit ourselves, we're going to test the television signal because it's known to not. Do you know what? I, Is that a helicopter? I don't know, but do you know? So a friend of mine. She's oh, a, I haven't got enough battery left. And her, and her mother asked me a question recently, and she said, "Got to be a thing because it is about a song." But she said, she "said Why do boys get their you know what stuck in the zip?" Well, I did it. I have to say, I Still think every has done it at least once. I've done it twice. I might put the scar on one of the videos. No, <laughs> no but seriously, I think everyone's done it at least once. It really hurts. Really I, hurts. I was fourteen. Go, I'm trying to you... hide it from my mother. <laughs> Can't hide anything from your mother. She's got beady eyes. Anyway, you see through walls. We're not going to do any more video until we arrive. But one more thing. No. What? Nothing. I just thought it'd be funny if I said one more thing. And.